Well, well, Blitz has another video about AMD's Zen based CPUs. Who would have thought? <laughs> I think this one's an interesting topic, though. Last week, AMD revealed its upcoming Naples server chip, which, like Ryzen 7 in the desktop market, is aiming for the head of Intel's best server products. To put it mildly, Naples is a quadruple Ryzen 7, with 32 cores, 8 memory channels to keep them fed, the ability to dress up to 2 terabytes of RAM, and 128 PCIe lanes for all the peripheral devices it can be paired with. AMD already showed off a dual 2400 MHz Naples server system against a Broadwell-based dual Xeon E5 2699A V4 system. AMD went so far as to even limit the Naples system to 44 cores total as with the Intel one. Obviously, AMD chose workloads that would work in their favor, which is going to be normal for any company who's trying to put their competition down. Regardless, the numbers are actually incredibly surprising. We wouldn't expect AMD to take this kind of lead on a dual Intel Xeon system. There is to say that Naples does enjoy twice the memory channels per CPU as the Intel system. With all 64 cores in a dual Naples system enabled, memory bandwidth withstanding, the gap widens even further. AMD's Zen-based communication fabric, judging by these tests and perhaps Ryzen 7, may actually be a part of why Ryzen competes so well in such multi-threaded workloads. On top of that, Naples features 64 megabytes of L3 cache versus the E5's 55. Intel does have the upcoming Skylake-based 28-core Xeon on the way, however, with six memory channels and up to six terabytes of addressable memory, putting it more on equal terms with Naples, and even better terms when we consider Skylake's full AVX12 capabilities that Naples lacks. Naples, depending on SKU, could ship as far fast as 2.4 gigahertz, thanks to the test AMD showed, but don't be surprised by lower clocks for actual production silicon that has to operate at 24-7. Intel also has Optane up its sleeve, assuming it's as good as Intel is touting to be, reducing latency and speeding up operations accordingly. With a severe absence of real competition in the server market from AMD, Intel has come to dominate it, whether we're talking x86 or not. There is no doubt Intel feels threatened by Naples, and with good reason. For AMD though, and in my opinion, the server market is more important than the PC desktop market that Ryzen is currently engaged in. The prices per CPU are much higher, and I think AMD has a lot less to lose in the server market than in the PC market itself. Well, I guess all the, what there really is to lose is all the money that's been spent on researching and developing and producing Naples. But other than that, AMD has not had a real part of the server market in years. Probably I would say since 2010. Now sure, the desktop market is immediately viewable to consumers who dick wave about brand loyalty or who has the best gaming rig, but for Ryzen 7 we're only talking $500 a CPU, at most. That's nothing compared to the cost of the best server chips. Being at least four times as big and with four times the cores, full 32 core Naples chips definitely will be north of $2,500, probably over $3,000 when considering binning, testing, and validation. Though AMD is virtually guaranteed to undercut Intel once again, yields withstanding. The Xeon E5 2699A V4 mentioned earlier sells for at least $3,500 new from what I could find via Google, and Intel still currently listing the MSRP at a suggested $4,100. We have a server market starved for another CPU vendor, and always starved for more performance. With almost 3 million server units sold in the fourth quarter last year around the world, with revenue above $14 billion, that's an average server unit price of $5,000. That's some serious cash. Market looms large for AMD to re-enter as a serious contender as both the value and perhaps the performance king of server computing and it, until Intel counters with its Skylake Xeon or AMD releases its successor to Naples. Something else to consider is that server units are often multi-CPU, of which some systems contain four CPUs. Currently, Naples-based systems are limited to two full 32-core Naples chips for 64 total cores or 128 threads. That is a shit ton. That, however, does not leave out the possibility of four CPU systems either for the next generation of Zen or perhaps maybe just a little bit later later this year. I have no idea. I don't see why not, but who knows. I have no idea how much it's going to cost AMD to manufacture Naples or what its wholesale trade price is, which of course is going to, to depend on binning. A theoretical $3,000 price point for the top-end 32-core Naples SKU is probably lowballing it, and we need to further consider harvested variants, likely with 28 or 24 cores, to get the most out of Naples manufacturing wafers. 
Then we have the virtually guaranteed 8-core Opteron variants of Ryzen due out at some point, since Ryzen already supports ECC memory, and the likelihood of a 16-core Opteron variant as well. But let's say in a quarter AMB manages to sell 500,000 Naples chips to builders and vendors at an average price of $2,000 across all binnings. That is a billion dollars. That's a lot of cash. It's an optimistic number, but the server division of AMD could effectively carry the company if Naples hits it big, and more so if AMD graphics get paired up for certain server applications. AMD as a whole averaged about a billion dollars revenue per quarter last year and the year before that. It's because of the weight of revenue I see Naples as most important to AMD's moderate term future, as sales for Naples sets the stage for its successors while bringing in vastly needed revenue for other AMD products. Unlike the consumer market, the server market isn't so easily swayed by feelings and brand loyalty. They want hard facts and real numbers. However, the uncertainty of the upcoming 28 core uh, Skylake Xeons performance and price is probably stalling some companies from making a decision on whether to buy from Intel or AMD in the coming months. If the desktop market is any indication, there is room for AMD to contend with Intel even at the top. AMD right now only has about 5% of the server market. Now I wasn't able to find out what the real percentage was within specifically the x86 server market, but I can tell you now x86 holds the vast majority of the server market in comparison to power and spark and arm. Jumping from 5 to 10% will be a massive boon for AMD as a whole. Naples should be due out by the second quarter of this year. For porn streaming servers, I think AMD should make a special edition of Naples called Nipples. Just a thought.